Hello everyone, welcome to Tesca Technologies Private Limited. My name is Ashim Dutta and today we are going to discuss about Pulse Generator and its order code is 16960. So in this video we are going to discuss about its working. So this is the Pulse Generator kit. This is the frequency selector port. So by using this port we can vary the frequency from 0.1 Hz to 10 kHz like this. And these are the variable ports to vary the waveform. Then this is the pulse width selector port. We can select the pulse width by using this port. So we can select the pulse width from 100 ns to 100 ms. Then this is the power on off button. Then this is the pulse controller. We can switch to pulse strain to get the pulse strain waveform on the DSO and we can switch it to single pulse to get the single pulse output at the DSO. Then this is the variable output port and this is the ground port and we can vary the variable output from 0 to 10 volt max. Then this is the fixed output. Here we are having inverse waveform and here we are having non-inverse waveform and this is the ground port. Now let's see the working of this pulse generator. So for that we have to switch on the pulse generator and we have to switch on the DSO. Now we will connect the probes to the variable output like this and now we will select a frequency range. Uh, let's suppose we are selecting 10 hertz and now let's keep this pulse control at pulse strain and now press auto So here on the DSO you can see that we are having the pulse strain. So now by using this variable port you can vary the voltage and you can see that the amplitude of the waveform reduced as I am rotating this variable output port at anti-clockwise direction. So its voltage is decreasing. So when we rotate it in clockwise direction we can see that the waveform amplitude increases. Similarly, you can go to the measure and you can see the channel 1 frequency as we have connected this in channel 1. So we can see the frequency here also. So you can cross check the frequency. Then here I have increased the frequency and this is the variable port so by using this variable port you can vary the frequency like this and you can see the changes on the waveform you can also use this variable port to vary the frequency like this And we can also vary the pulse width selector. So here I have kept it at 100 ms. Now let's keep it at 1 ms. So you can see the changes on the DSO. So its width get reduced. Now when we keep it at 10 ms, we can see that the width get increased. And when we keep it at 100 ms, that is the maximum width, we can see the changes on the DSO. Now by using the pulse controller as it is at 
pulse strain position now let's keep it at single pulse so we can see the single pulse on the dso now let's see the fixed output so we have to connect the ground to the ground port and firstly we will connect it at inverse so here on the dso you can see the inverse waveform and when we connect it at non inverse we can see the waveform like this This is the inverse waveform and this is the non inverse waveform. So that is how we can see the waveforms on the DSO and we can use this pulse generator. So that's all the demonstration from my side. If you have any query related to this kit, you can contact the Tesca Global website. You can find the link in the description. For more information, go through the manual. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, like, share and subscribe to our channel.